You're kidding me. You have got to be kidding. <laughs> oh, sweet mother of God. I am getting those left and right. Okay, well, I guess this is as good a time of any to welcome you guys back for this part. I was just going through collecting treasures and rupees as I was going, and apparently I found another goddess plume in a tree, man. It's like those things are shredding everywhere. Jesus. All right, well, thanks for the jelly blob, mister. Mister, I really appreciate the jelly blob. Anyway, here we are back, and like I said, you can just take a thing in there if you feel like it and just go to the skies. But um, here, heading back inside the Skyview Temple, it's kind of interesting. We pretty much retreaded old ground in terms of everything we have to do here, but there are a couple of other things and, you know, other places that are a little bit more accessible to us. My readings indicate the presence of sacred water within the temple. Of course, dousing is completely useless, so as long as you know where to go, then, yeah... Anyway, it's going to be at the very end of the temple, but all of our shortcuts are still open. We've just got more powerful enemies like Quadrubabas everywhere, and I don't think very many uh, Skullchillas are still here. There's a new version of the Bokoblins, actually, which is alright, I suppose. Stupid. Ah, god damn it. Okay, you know what, man? You know what? Alright, this is what you're getting. Just take a nice little bite, man. I know you want it. There it is. He's like, D oh, he didn't get it. That was a bad boy. You're supposed to eat it. There you go. Good boy. Who's a good Deku blah, boy? He's dead now. Now we got this crap to deal with again. Got the freaking spider webs leaving message, and I'll call you back. Ugh, I hate it so much. Oh, man. Oh, hey, check it out. We got ourselves <gasps> digging spots. Blessed butterflies. You know what this means, ladies and gentlemen. I, yeah, yeah, three for the price of one. All right, dig it up because you're not going to bother me today. Oh, my God, there's a freaking ornamental skull over there. Oh, but he just re goes there anyway. It's like, dude, you better not take my opportunity. Oh, hey, it's a magma. It's the ego mag ego emo magma. Oh, oh the, yeah, the guy, the guy made the volcano. I don't remember what voice I gave him, but I'm trying to give him like a weird, like, stuttery. Um, here to do some treasure hunting. Nah, not really. <laughs> you terrible liar guy, you got treasure hunter written all over your face. You cross my path, I'll slit your fucking throat, man. All right, uh, did the big stone out here tip you off to, okay, so he's talking about the Goron. I think, actually, let's say tip. What kind of tip, huh? 20%, 25, strum a chord, okay, so. It's, he's gonna tell us all these annoying things. So what we can do, actually, is we can do a bunch of stuff. So where the blessed butterflies just were, it's not gonna, you know, make a a thingy. I'm actually gonna get this real fast. It's not gonna get a a gossip statue. It's actually gonna give us an opportunity for some uh, treasures that we very much would like. All right, can we please get that? And was that a treasure sound? If it was, there's no treasures here. This bottom one is always really annoying. It's like, ugh. See, look at it. It's, mm, there we go. I just needed the perfect one. All right, so we'll collect. Oh, it's an amber relic. Damn it. I was totally looking at that wrong. These are kind of weird to grab, so just do with it what you will. But over here, where the blessed butterflies once flourished until we decided to kill them. All right, there we go. We've got this little tablet here. Now, you can pretty much get uh, magmas. Quit interrupting me. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. I bet you think you're going to run ahead and swipe all the best treasure for yourself. But I say you're setting yourself up for big-time disappointment. Oh, shut up, you cross-armed magma freak. Okay, all right, all right, so... Demon had by that boulder with legs. All right, stay here if you want. I'm going on ahead. Okay, of course he is. He's really annoying because he is like the man of plot inconsistencies. Anyway, here you can pretty much get any, you know, any regular item you want. You just have to draw it. So you can draw like circles for bombs. I'm going to try this. I can never get like fairies because I suck at it. But if you make a triangle, then you just get hearts. You know... It's supposed to be three triangles for the hearts, but you can. I'm gonna do circles next time. I should have gotten some bombs. I think he drops 30 bombs, which is kind of a lot. But anyway, here we are in this room again, and we've got ourselves a really annoying enemy over there in the distance. We've got ourselves vocal blade archers and more froats. Damn it! Don't you dare! Oh, damn it! We're we're slowly getting outnumbered, aren't we? Okay, this guy's gonna be puppy guarding the shit out of me, unless he already. Oh, thank you. He's not here anymore. All right, let's go and drown you. Ugh. Yes, because they never. Mm, there we go. Ouch! That wasn't very nice. All right, man. This is how. This is how it's gonna be. Ugh. Yeah, you guys are all gonna drown. Okay, so we can't get through that door because it's already been. F it's 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 screwed. It, it got locked again somehow. And the magma buddy that we just met has it, but he lost it. He lost it. He lost a key that he doesn't even need because he's an idiot. So we have to go back over here. And then go back to the room where we raise the water and then call it good. And that's where we get the key and then we go to the boss room and then finish it off. See, it's like almost pointless. Like, I don't know. It's kind of... God, Jesus Christ. Don't interrupt me, man. 
I hope you get caught in that spider web, and I hope Gwen Stefani shits all over your face. All right, come on. I just can't remember which hole I hit it in. Jeez, out of all two holes, you know. <laughs> oh my god, so he buried it around here. I already know where it is. Ooh, I think I might have made note of it when we came here through the first time, but I don't remember. So let's go dive down over here and then um, go under this hole where we're crawling again. Yes, okay, and then we can head up here. There we go, very nice. Now we're in this room again, so let's climb up. I mean, so please come in, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, see, I like the Skyview Temple. It's just kind of annoying that we have to go back through it for something so menial. And the fact that he lost a key, even though he clearly shows that he's capable of going anywhere in this dungeon without <laughs> without needing to go through doors is a little bit weird. See, this is like stone that he's went through. Uh, whatever. You know, uh, get, well, I guess we can just pick it up the old-fashioned way. Okay, so let's head back and go through that door. I don't think any of the bulk blends will come back, but by God, that guy was a cheap asshole. We got the stupid throats in our way still. Wow, that didn't look like it was anywhere near me. I'm surprised it didn't explode, though. All right, um, okay, he didn't decide to jump there, but that's okay. You yeah, know, I'm a cyborg, but that's okay. Okay, let's go head through here. See, why is it why is it locked again? Is there any reason for it to have been locked in the first place? Maybe go from going here the next time. I stalled your buddy! If you're the sister of the other stalder I met before, I'm very disappointed in you, but because you're now all dead, and I hate you guys so much. All right, so let's go continue onwards to the end of the dungeon, shall we? Uh, we opened up the shortcut, so we don't really need to worry too much about it. It's right over here. And get away from me, Keeses. Jesus Christ. Kikis, Keese. I don't know. Don't go into that room where you fought those uh, Stalfoses before, because that's going to be really annoying to have to deal with later. Okay, now we've got this bullshit to deal with. There's going to be two Bokoblin archers. They're going to be totally just chilling over there. So we can use our sweet, tough beetle of justice. Oh, sweet mother of God. Now we can go run over and grab this and hopefully kill him before they get me. Oh, sh oh, wow. Of course he would shoot the bomb. Of course he would shoot the bomb. All right, fine. This is why we got to go fast. Roaming around at the... Ow. Oh, seriously? They're going to hit it every time, aren't they? Just because I collected a bunch of goddess plumes and they're just going to grab it every single time. See, look at that. This is unreal. Like, how many... Uh, game... Seriously, is it because I'm going fast? They don't, ooh, there we go, and bam, thank you, ma'am. They're both dead. All right, God, Jesus. Do you see that? That's just, that's just like a punch to the face, you know? All right, well, let's go get across here as quick as we can and get the stupid sacred water and get out of here. That water dragon sent me in all these missions. You're not God, you're not allowed to send me on these missions. See, look at, look at, he's clearly capable of getting here. You and your animal crossing assholes, get the hell out of my Skyview Temple, man. Or Forest Temple, whatever. Uh, no one's really got on my case, but uh, whatever. There's nothing but water. Who in the stinking world would come all this way for water? Nobody, that's who. Yeah, of course. I'm cutting my losses and heading home. Yeah, get out of here. Nobody even asked for your opinion, man. So here, this is so you never have to come back, even though you've shown you're clearly capable of not needing those stupid cracks in the floor. All right, let's head in here, and this is kind of annoying, ladies and gentlemen, because they have, like, a mini-boss here, but it's not really a mini-boss. In the, in the pure sense that, well, it's just annoying. It's just annoyingness in all regards. I mean, I mean, the first time it was okay, but here it's a little bit ridiculous. All right, make sure you have your bombs, because now that we have bombs, we've got three Stalfoses here. Three freaking Stalfoses. You guys saw how annoying just one of them was, but we're going to go and do this. All right, so this is what I'm going to do, not do that. Uh, it'll, the bombs will stun them momentarily, so what I like to do, I just like to do this, and then put it down, and then hope that they come here, because they're pretty quick at moving, so. But and then once it explodes, yeah. alright, there we go. So they're going to be all confused for a little bit, go hit them, and then run away, because their, their detection for that is really bad, so, or detection, their recovery is like super quick, so. I'll make sure you get a good angle on them, and I only got the back one. There's a bunch of, like, bombs in this room, but I'm going to collect them at the end. And I would take these guys out regularly. It's just that they're so annoying because they travel in the groups, and so it's just, like, really kind of a pain. So I'll set you right there, and then we'll run away, and then probably screwed up that. Come on. Mm. Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. All right, let's do it in the center here. That's probably the best place. I don't usually use bombs on these guys, but I don't want to be losing, like, 20 million things of health here. So just run around. There we go. All right, and then bam! Oh, there we go. And then see, look at that. See, you have like no chance to attack them. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'll just do regular slices this time since the sword slashes apparently gets them out of their days a little bit quicker. All right, all right, all right, here we go. There we go. Now let's keep 
Let's look at this. And then he is like all the way. Ooh. Mm. Nope. That's see, see, they just block each other. It's ridiculous. All right, let's try this. All right, you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready? Come on, someone at me, bro. Ooh. Mm. All right, there we go. That guy's freaking annoying though. Mm. Oh, come on. All right, fine. We'll take this guy. Wow, they're doing a lot of damage. They did a lot more than I thought they did. They left me five rupees at least. Eh, whatever. Yeah, it's just annoying. If it was like one on one and right after the other, I would have a little less of a problem with it. But it's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I probably, that was probably still my bad, but whatever. I don't care. Can I get bombs, please? Thank you. Okay. So let's go head out here and collect the uh, sacred water for the water dragon. Because I have proven myself a failure as both. I don't know. Ugh, freaking, if it wasn't like motion controls and it wasn't like they guarded at an angle, then it would have been just. You know, hunky dory. I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of cool because it puts a little twist on the combat, but it's an annoying twist. Like seriously, man. Yeah, whatever. Let's go collect the sacred water and just get the hell out of here, shall we? So it's gonna be over here near where the uh, fairies are. If you get try and collect it anywhere else, then it won't work. So let's go collect it right over here. Okay, we'll get right in there and then scoop. I said, are you not gonna scoop for me? Thank you. And we got the sacred water. All right, very nice. So very fortunately, uh, Fifi is nice enough to go ahead and uh, teleport us out of the Skyview Temple, something she doesn't do if you try and come back here by yourself. There's a 95 probability that the water here is identical to the water within the Water Dragon's base. It's like, why wouldn't she have more on hand? Why isn't she already living in, you know, sacred water? It's just like, oh, we only need this for the most dire of emergencies. Anyway, let's just go head straight over there. Hey, Moblin, how's it going, buddy? I'm going to go kill you because you're really annoying me. All right, asshole, I've already had to cut away from two of your boss fights, and it's only because you take so goddamn long to kill. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's pure retribution, baby. Yeah, okay, never mind. I'm in the great tree right now, by the way, and I just figured now would be a good a time as any would be to probably go ahead and just get these goddess cubes right out of the way real quick. I... Oh, there's a great thing here. Oh, I, I never use this one. I probably should, even though it's probably quicker if I just ascend regularly. Okay, so basically, just drop off somewhere around here for one of them. This is the easiest place I found, and I guess, well, we'll go and head over here. It's probably a little bit farther than I thought. It's right next to this thing. Okay, so we got some keys. Don't want you bothering me. All right, die. Thank you. Yeah, these guys are really irritating. Yeah, if you couldn't have already have told. Freaking Zubats. Okay, so it's something like right over here that we want to drop down to. Um, well, we're gonna well, let's go over here to the right side and drop over here a little bit carefully, and we're gonna have to come back here, unfortunately, like in a little bit, just to get the other ones since there's two here. We, there we go. Okay, so let's go grab this real quick, and that's pretty much that's pretty much all you have to do. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. So, Goddess Cube, here's one of them. <laughs> and I don't know, I think this one in particular is one we can't grab yet. If this is the one I'm thinking of on Skyloft, we're going to need another item before we can get it. But I, I'm not exactly sure. I just collect a bunch of them, and then I go and collect a bunch of them. All right, um, I'll meet you guys back up in just a moment. Oh, and I guess while we're still making our way up there, we can go ahead and grab this one really quick. Just jump on over here, and then call it good to go. All right, cool. All right, I'll meet you guys back up at that uh, owl statue, I guess. Yeah, I'll just meet you guys there. <sighs> okay, back up here. Okay, so let's grab that final goddess cube, shall we? I don't think I really mentioned this, but the reason why I'm grabbing this now is because I'm going to end off the video here after we give the sacred water to the the goddess. And, or I keep calling her goddess, the water dragon. And so that we can just go ahead and head to the sky and do what we need to do. Because after we give her the sacred water, we'll be pretty much good to go for finishing everything. So it's just one of those things where it's just more convenient to get it out of the way now since we've got nothing else left for us here. So let's go drop down over here Whee! perfect all right cool so let's go grab this and later on if there's an item we can grab this later with as well and we'll be able to do that all right um i guess i'll go ahead and meet you guys over back at the water dragon in just one moment ah, all right here we are back at lake beautiful uh waterfall floria and uh, now we can just go head back inside over here. Apparently that blessed butterfly did not want to be coerted into being one of my friends, unfortunately. Now, make sure you don't do what I did on accident the first time I played this. Probably every single other person. Do not equip the bottle of sacred water and then talk to her. You need to talk to her without having it equipped because if you have it out, okay, so I'll have it out and I'll target her and I'll press A to use or assumably talk to her and give it to her. You'll just splash it all over her face. So, no. 
don't don't use that at all. Uh, and then you have to go all the way back to the temple and collect more sacred water, and it's so annoying. But let's go ahead and do this. It doesn't take that long because he just goes straight to the you know the ending lair. But yep. So now we can go ahead and just splash it all in. There we go. It's like I hope that's enough, asshole, for everything you put me through. I mean, she's gonna douse herself in dirty bath water. Sounds of no doubt. <laughs> Yes, no, 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 dirty dance, dance water, whatever. All right, well, now we're in her freaking basin. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, oh, sweet Jesus, she is so beautiful. Judy Dench, I don't think I've ever been more sexually attracted to a woman in my life. I mean, just kidding. All right, cool. So, uh, the full majesty of Farron, water dragon and guardian of these lands. I stand tall, healed, and whole once again. You know, I can kind of see her having a Rachel Wise voice also. Like, I don't know, because she voiced Safira in the Aragon movie. She was, like, the only good thing about it. Like, as terrible as fucking god-awful as it was, she was uh, pretty good for a dragon. <laughs> and now every time I see some kind of weird water dragon-esque thing, because Safira was a sapphire blue-colored dragon, I guess. So, yeah, it's been a while since I've read the books, the novelizations, or I guess the originals. Oh, whatever. Anyway, she's going to get rid of this waterfall so we can go ahead inside the temple. Technically, we could take it on right now and just ignore what I'm going to collect on land, which mostly will consist of side quests, money, and a good deal of hearts. I'm going to say probably four heart pieces or so. Five heart pieces, I'm thinking. And then we could head on in here. And that could wait. That honestly can wait. But I think I'm going to go ahead and take it out now because even though... Because I just want to get this money situated just all, all gone. So the sacred flame you seek lies within this place. And I kind of just want to do this also because unlike other most 3D Zelda games, our sword actually gets stronger as we complete these ones, which is really cool. I really like that facet that it kind of went almost old school. Like, you know, it kind of just reminds me of Link's, uh, Link's Awakening. I was going to say Link to the Past. Link's Awakening where you can gradually power up your sword, even though it's just one step or whatever. But I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Next time on Skyward Sword, we're going to go ahead into the skies. All right, you guys ready? We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. This is going to be our pre-dungeon requisites for everything. So, um, yeah, and that might actually be a little bit on the lengthy side. So I might do a bit of cutting like I did in this episode. I've been recording for half an hour, but who knows how, much, how long we'll be going there. So, uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys there and uh, talk to you guys then. Oh, yes. The insect population of this area has been diminished greatly. And I, and I give all my thanks to Link. Okay, yeah, I'll see you guys then.